Hello, my dear students. I'm just explaining one sample question in gate examination, which was asked in rectifiers. Very simple question. So you can see here a single phase full bridge diode rectifier. A single phase full bridge diode rectifier is fed from 230 volts, 50 hertz sinusoidal source. Supplies a series combination of finite resistance and large inductance. So see here, very large inductance. That means load current is constant, high inductive load. What is the two most dominant harmonic frequencies? So what is the two most dominant frequencies? So what is your observation here? So try this question. So see here, single phase full bridge rectifier. Single phase full bridge. Single phase full bridge rectifier. See here, in the case of single phase full bridge rectifier, very clearly they have mentioned the load current is constant. See there, the high inductive, no? So it is high inductive load, load current is constant. What is the supply current? It should be square wave. So in this case, the shape of the supply current is square wave. I hope you are familiar with this. So it, since it is a diode rectifier, there is no displacement angle. So square wave, it is actually a square wave here. So here I naught and minus I naught. So the shape of the supply current is square wave. So in the case of single phase full bridge rectifier, when the load is high inductive, supply current is square wave. Now what is the harmonics present in the square wave here? See square wave satisfies half wave symmetry. So when the signal satisfies half wave symmetry, even harmonics and DC components are eliminated. So here, here, even harmonics and DC components are eliminated. So important point. So here, even and even harmonics eliminated. Even harmonics are eliminated here. Why even harmonics are eliminated? The waveform satisfies half wave symmetry. This continues, okay? This waveform continues. So, waveform satisfies half wave symmetry. The waveform satisfies half wave symmetry. Waveform satisfies half wave symmetry. In a simple way, how to understand half wave symmetry? Very simple way. So, reverse the negative cycle and fold it at pi. If it is coincident with the positive pulse, after reversing and folding at pi, the waveform is satisfying half wave symmetry. If any waveform is satisfying half wave symmetry, even harmonics are eliminated. DC component also eliminated. So, DC component, DC component is also eliminated. Is also eliminated. So, what is your observation? Even harmonics are eliminated, DC component is eliminated. That means this waveform is having only odd harmonics. So, what is the harmonics present in this one? Fundamental, fundamental, third harmonic, fifth harmonic, seventh, ninth, and so on. So, that means the waveform contains all the odd harmonics. Even harmonics are completely eliminated. DC component is eliminated because the waveform satisfies half wave symmetry. That means square wave is having all the odd harmonics. Can you find out the frequencies of all these harmonics? Frequencies, you know, nth harmonic frequency is equal to n times fundamental frequency. What is the fundamental frequency in this case? So see here, fundamental frequency is same as the supply frequency. So given supply frequency is 50 hertz, supply frequency is 50 hertz, that is same as fundamental frequency. So that means nth harmonic frequency is n into 50. Now when n is equal to 1, what is the frequency? See substitute n is equal to 1, when n is equal to 1, its frequency is 50 hertz. Next when n is equal to 3, so 3 multiplied by 50, 
So third harmonic frequency is 150 hertz. When n is equal to 5, 5 multiplied by 50, 250 hertz. Next 7 multiplied by 50, 350. Next ninth harmonic frequency, 450 and so on. So now the question is, uh, the two most dominant frequency component. So they are asking the dominant frequency. So dominant frequency means, see the first dominant frequency is 50, next dominant is 150. So these are the two most dominant frequencies. Dominant frequencies. These are the two most dominant frequencies. Okay, dominant frequency in the sense, it is the low frequency AC components which has more amplitude. We call them as dominant frequencies. Suppose in the, so answer is 50 and 150. So answer to this question is, answer to this 50 and 150 hertz. So option B is the right answer. They have very clearly given dominant frequency. Small modification in the question. Suppose they have asked you, dominant harmonic frequency what would be the answer see i will i'll modify this question in the gate examination they ask dominant frequency i will simply modify this question suppose they are asking what is dominant harmonic frequency suppose in the question they have asked what is dominant dominant harmonic frequency what is the dominant harmonic frequencies? Two most dominant frequencies. Two most dominant frequencies. They are asking two most dominant harmonic frequencies. So what happens when they mention harmonic? See, actually, this is actually fundamental frequency. No? See, 50 hertz is fundamental frequency. Fundamental frequency is responsible to deliver useful power on AC side. So fundamental component is useful component. That is not harmonic component. So if examiner is asking dominant harmonic frequency, then 150 hertz. Next one is 250 hertz. That means in this case, answer is 150 hertz, 250 hertz. So only one statement here. If examiner says dominant harmonic frequency, then 150 and 250 is the answer. But in our question, they have asked dominant frequencies. They did not mention harmonic. So dominant frequency means lower order, 50 and 150. So that is why in this case, answer is option B, lower order. If they mention dominant harmonic frequency, then this is fundamental, leave it. Dominant harmonic frequency means 150, 250. So don't confuse here. What is two most dominant frequencies? Two most dominant harmonic frequencies. Both are completely different here. Clear? Right, students? So don't get confused regarding the dominant. Dominant means it is the lower order harmonic frequency having more amplitude. Whenever they mention dominant harmonic frequency, exclude the fundamental. Remaining are harmonics only. See, only fundamental is useful component. Remaining are harmonics only. This is harmonics. So here in our question, they ask dominant frequency, so 50 and 150. So clear? So here, every student know the concept. The problem is, when student is fast in the examination, they, they don't be clear with this word. Similarly, the moment they mention dominant harmonic frequency, immediately they will say 150, 250, and that is the first option given. So be careful, student. So that kind of mistakes we may do. Because we don't read and understand the question properly. Otherwise, everyone knows the concept, right? Okay. So be careful with the first option exclusively. Right? Thank you.